Here's a question for the Halloween season. If there are no haunted houses, did you make that statement? Well, I guess I did, yes. All right. I said the devils don't haunt buildings, they haunt living things. All right. If there are no haunted houses, then why do people hear strange noises and see figures or people that do not presently live in the house? Is Satan just giving illusions? Well, when I said the devil doesn't haunt houses, I meant the demons have no joy in possessing two-by-fours. Uh, a demon might, or an apparition might appear to scare a person, and of course there are not ghosts and goblins. They're all fallen angels that are doing these things. And you know, sometimes it's our mind playing tricks on us. Uh, we're staying at a family's home right now in a new environment for me. The other night I was there alone, and I heard strange noises outside. And, uh, and what's that? You know, I'm out in the middle of a field in this house all by myself, and I'm going, somebody's spying on me. They didn't like an answer I gave the other night. They're out to get me. And so I, you know, I stuck my head out the door, and there's a great big fir tree that's got the branch. The wind was blowing. I didn't know it, and it's kind of scraping against the door, and it sounded like someone clawing to get in. Well, you know, sometimes your mind plays games on you, and it's not always the devil haunting houses. Sometimes we see things. When I was a kid, I laid in bed one time terrorized because there was someone in my room with me. I saw them as clear as I could be. All Their whole form was outlined. And especially whenever a car went by and the room was illuminated a little bit, I could see them standing there waiting to jump on me. And I was just paralyzed with fear. Finally, I just screamed out or something. My grandma came in, turned on the light. It was some clothes hung up on a coat rack. And it looked just like a person wearing a hat. <laughs>